Welcome back to CK2. Last episode, we went raiding in Akavir. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Okay, I do that a lot. But I've changed some things. In specific, the search for a Diedrich Scholar option in the decisions menu. I thought I'd add this because it's got to the stage now where we're literally just killing people, marrying them, killing them, marrying someone new. Um, so I thought, why don't we implement the system they added in the scholarship focus, the actual Elder Kings devs added in the scholarship focus, to just invite someone to our court. Um, so this is only available if you've taken the scholarship focus, you're not a prisoner, you don't have incapable, blah blah blah. Um, so we are on the scholarship focus, so let's invite someone to our court. Each Prince of Oblivion has a unique sphere and resides, uh, sorry, and requires unique understanding to match. With gold I've set aside, I should be able to find someone with useful insights. So, we have our options now. Um, hopefully this is all of them. It does look like it is as well. So let's go for Shea Gorath, because that was the one we were really struggling to get, seeing as there's no one on the face of the planet that worships Shea Gorath that we can convert to. And hopefully, this event works. Um, young... Huntico has finished her education? Oh. This must be someone I, I captured on a raid, right? It's gotta be. Excellent. Just what I wanted to hear. Young Huntico. Um, we'll go ahead and ransom everyone else. 31 characters. Yeah, sweet. Um, after some searching, I managed to contact the enigmatic in an, in, in, in a ladder. Oh my god. In Al Ada. Yeah, in a ladder who claims to have made bargains with Shergorath in the past. To help me learn more about Shergorath. Um, with your help, there are many secrets I can cover. Or oh, there is so much more about Shergorath I'd like to learn. Elrang becomes the cult of Emmaus Mora. Elrang becomes the cult of Shergorath. I think I would just become the cult of Shergorath. Yeah. There we go. Um, that was some tooltip problems, I assume. Let's not worry about it. I don't think it'll impact the gameplay at all. Okay, everyone's paying ransom. That's pretty great. And there he is. Shergorath. You can see he's kind of got like many faces going on. That's very cool. Uh, House of the Shivering Isles. That's a nice flag. And who's this? Is this Haskell? No. It's Kef attack Look, names in this, they're not my strong point, are they? Oh, he probably doesn't like us because we're just unprincipled. Yeah. That's a shame. All right, let's pay some tributes to our good friend, our lovely boy, Shagorath. Here you are. Have an offering. And what has he got? He's got the Gifts of Madness. Touch your lands with his unstable mind and receive one of many potential provincial modifiers. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And he does have three artifacts. Charity of Mad Madness, the Fork of Horripilation, and the Wabberjack. So this is an amulet. This is a weapon. And this is another weapon. For the purposes of Ascension, we only need the Wabberjack, as I recall. Um, yeah, I think I decided I don't really want to have one Daedra. We're just chucking a whole bunch to. Um, some Daedra princes do not accept human sacrifice. But he does have the option... So maybe there's a chance. Now, he doesn't have the Sword of Jigalag. That is worth pointing out. So I don't know if it's even possible to get the Sword of Jigalag right now. Um, so we just won't bother. What we can do is we can find ourselves a nice permanent wife. That's weird. Normally we kill them off every 30 seconds. Um, we'll just find someone with high stewardship, I guess. She's pretty great. Ambitious, uh, trusting, charitable, master healer. She's got 21 stewardship. That's kind of what we're looking for right now to add to our own... Uh, Oh, she's a genius. Fuck it. Let's go with her. Genius wife. She wasn't like our granddaughter or something, no. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright. We've got ourselves a new wife. She's got pretty good stats across the board. Uh, obviously, that genius trait, which is going to make us like her. It isn't going to, obviously, affect kids any at all, because Aurang is basically just made of magic at this point. So, what are we going to do while we wait to get artifacts and favor for Shea Gorath? Why don't we... Let's untick this is special interest. It's not really special interest while we're waiting. Let's run some, some more prisoners for a start, seeing as it looks like we can't sacrifice them. That was the whole reason I was keeping them around. Why don't we attack Skyrim? Now, we were going to restore the Falmer in Skyrim. So, we might as well start somewhere. This also means we are going to have to transmute ourselves into a Falmer. Uh, well, that's fine, I guess. I don't mind that too much. So, what is this province here? We might as well take this, because this is right next to his Vault Guard. Let's go and grab that. All right, how many men's he got? 5,600. That's nothing, my friend. Um, what is it? Vault Guard, Vault Guard. Where is Vault Guard? V, v. V is... Vault Guard is a V. Yeah, no, you're right. So that would be near the bottom of the list. Genius. Vault Guard, there we are. Oh, he, he got Castle Volcahar? Did he actually take that back? 
No. Oh, he actually did. Hakan was assassinated. And Serana became the new uh, Duke of Volkaha. She is a vampire, though. Weird. Okay. Fair enough. Weird. Uh, sure. Yeah, let's let's take it. Uh, Volt Guard. And I'm pretty sure we could probably just mostly win with Aurang leading the retinue. Um, so I'm not even going to bother raising any more troops. Let's just rush it. There's still much more to learn. Thank you. So all this has done is basically just started part of the scholarship tra train? Train? Chain? Um, mainly because I didn't want to spend ages coding a whole new event that we weren't going to use a huge amount. Um, we'll do that one. Stunning the stars will be removed from Aaron. That's the end of the chain. Uh, it just gives us a temporary trait. So it's not like it's ridiculously overpowered or anything like that. But like I said, it's just a method of... Uh, it's just a method of getting the Deidre without having to plot against people, kill people, try and kidnap people. Which could take any amount of time. That we just don't have. Because our sun is aging quite rapidly. Oh, these are f***ing raiders. I was thinking, I'm not getting any war score here. Why is that? Oh, right, yeah, because they're, um, they're still raiders from Akavir. Don't know if you know that, but I do like raiding Akavir. <laughs> I think you get them on a shirt or something, I think. Okay, wow. Holy shit. We destroyed them. Look at that. 170 losses versus their 4,000. Yeah, our troops are very, very powerful at this stage. Like, maybe a little bit overpowered, I'll be honest with you. Um, my liege, please listen to me. The man you are so fond of is no more than a treacherous, despicable snake. Who is he? Who's this man? Am I really that fond of him? Uh, I mean, we're just going to take the opinion hit with this dude because we like him more. Um, so we'll hit that one, and then we will head up to this province here. Someone asked me, how do you do that? How do you queue up where your men will run around to? Um, just hold shift, basically, as they move. So we can send them to go into that province, and then divert them off by holding shift. It's quite kind of surprising the amount of people that don't know that you can do that in CK2. It's really good for managing battles like this. Especially on higher speeds as well. If you like playing on higher speeds like me, very useful to set up where your troops are going to go, because it's much easier to... Uh, lose your troops that method. So we're going to do it there as well. Just try and cut off these guys. And that worked quite well, I think. So we're going to head to the capital now. Siege that down. And then we will be trying to kill. That's another downside to what we were doing with the Daedric Prince, by the way. We can only have one plot going at a time. And a lot of it was setting up our next wife. Uh, this means we can also start, you know, doing intrigue stuff. We can start planning to kill this king after we've gone to war with him. Oh, we ransacked the palette of the... Palette, the palette of the kings. No, I'm keeping it like that. Palette of the Kings, it can hold so much cardboard. Right, let's um, enforce demands. Thank you very much. So, let's revoke these guys, because they are infidels. Please give me those. And we'll head to you south, just in case they do uh, decide they want to rebel. We will take the 7,000 steps in either stead. And we'll also take this one here. Alright, now we've got to be careful because we are going to get the event that spawns uh, province malices. Alright, so we've got to transform ourselves into a Chimer now. Uh, how do we do that? It's open the spell book. Where's my spell book button gone? Oh, right. Consult your other decisions. I thought I'd accidentally somehow with that mod I made deleted everything. Um, Chimer transformation. There we are. No, no, no. Wait. Falma. Falma. I shall become a farmer. The snow elves are once inhabited Skyrim. Wow, look at me. <laughs> That's so weird. We will obviously transform back into Alien. We could, if you guys are interested, make Morrowind Chima. So before they were corrupted by Deidre and obviously the Elm Civi. Um, that would be quite interesting. So now I assume if we just right click a province and create a new vassal, that will make them Chima. Whoa, look at that. Oh, sorry, Falmer. I'm going to get that confused so much. Um... Did we not revoke this? Or maybe I didn't unpause? Yeah, five days. We are. Now, we absolutely don't want provinces becoming uh, Falmer provinces. So we need to sort of do this as quickly as possible. We might even transform back and forth in between conquests. Um, that is a keep. So we can take Tilmo, or we could go and hire a steward and just make it so there are actually more China. Uh, change my mind. I don't want to do that yet. Um, let's go open employment list. And employ a new steward. Here we are. Out of nowhere. 
A gladiator. Sweet. Uh, here you go, my friend. You can have the... Oh, we haven't got any baronies to give. No, wait, we do have baronies to give. Why would it let me do that? It's just the game being weird. Hang on. All right, let's grant him uh, Iverstead. Can we not give him... Why can't we give him the lower title? Do... Oh, do they still own it? Who the fuck are you? Why do you have this? Is she at war? Yeah, she's at war. When she's not at war, we can usurp that. That's very annoying. Okay, well, we'll just uh, go to that guy who we just spawned. Wherever he is. It's in my court. Genius. And we'll go ahead and give him the land manually for now. I thought we got the duchy when we did an Imperial Conquest, but I guess that's only if the person we're at war with actually has the duchy. So we're giving the Barony of Volkgaard. Here you are. Baron Anorath, the Falmer. Um, we should probably also arrange the marriages by presenting a debutante, but how long have we got to wait for that? Oh, seven days? I think that's fine. And we'll take her, and we'll ask him if he wants to marry her. Just so we are keeping Falmer in Skyrim. Where did she go? Do you want to marry her? Sweet. No, we don't want Imperial Isle becoming Falmer. So, sorry? You married... No, she's alien. And she's ideal masters, you motherfucker. <sighs> you know what? I forgive him. It's fine. It's a minor setback. Let's employ some more stewards. We are. And let's arrange him a marriage before we get rid of him. Um, we've got to be very careful keeping the lands variously. Variously? Yeah, variously elven. Sure, I suppose that works. Um, you can have Iverstead. My lovely snow elf friend, brother. And we'll employ another steward. Casimiran. Welcome, Casimiran. And then we'll get my wife. Um, employ a steward. And when these provinces start converting... Oops, shit, that's not what I wanted. Um, when they start converting, we are actually going to have more snow elves spawn. But as it is right now, we need to be very careful with it because no more snow elves are going to spawn. Instead, you know, their courtiers are going to come in as Nords. Um, so we want to arrange a marriage. So I'm just trying to keep it so we can maybe even resurrect them. That'd be very cool. Uh, well, I wanted to give you land, didn't I? What are we going to give you, my good friend? Uh, what is that called? Arkwind? Here you are. We'll sort of decide when we get there which one gets the... Uh, who's the best steward? That guy, but unfortunately he is a republic. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Don't want to give it to this guy now he married this ideal masters woman. Seems a bit of a kick in the face. Uh, Hagraven cults are actually dukes. What are you doing, Skyrim? Holy shit. Okay, so we are now in a truce with this dude for many, many years, I would imagine. Yep. Till uh, another nine years or so. Let's see if we can kill him. And this will help break up Skyrim as well and allow us to assimilate it quicker. Uh, should we flip back to Iliad in the meantime? We probably should, just in case we get provinces accidentally converted to Falmer. Um, let's mark Iliad and Falmer as special interest. And how much is that costing us magica-wise? 55 magica. Holy shit. It's quite expensive, but, uh, you know, we've just got to keep it pure. We've got to keep it safe. Is it, do we get a culture malice with them? Foreigner minus five, but because they are both old Mary, it doesn't matter. Alright, sweet. Uh, what do we take next, then? Uh, Nilheim, we've already got most of. In fact, we already have the duchy, so we won't worry about that. He might take it himself. Um, yeah, sure. Antelwund. We'll take that next. So, but we've got to see this guy dead. How's our plot going? We haven't even started it yet. Genius. Um, you, my good friend. We've drained his speechcraft so people dislike him. And then we will... Frenzy his vassals. Oh, we're out of Magicka. Shit. Well, I want to turn him into a chicken as well, but I guess I can't. Um, never mind. Okay. My co-conspirator, Thane John. John Thane... John Flamehair. John Thane Hair. Uh, okay. Well, we failed, but he's clueless, so it doesn't matter. Let's close the spellbook for now. We need to build up some more Magicka, actually. Transforming back and forth is a quite an expensive affair. Are you at war? Do I just see you raise troops? No? Okay, weird. And let's check. I said I was going to do this episode, last episode so many times, but completely forgot. Let's check the culture and religion map. 
Yeah, we're getting there. I think a couple more episodes. Wow. Holy shit. Oriel has done really well. A couple more episodes, and I think it'll be done. Obviously, all the ideal masks have been wiped up, so this random one province. Why? Oh, he's only got eight stewardship. Okay, fair enough. I'm also his heir, so chance are we will inherit that, but uh, very impressive. And we have actually converted a couple of uh, Argonian provinces, which we haven't had long. Same with the religion map mode. Awesome. And I'm hoping these convert to Felmo, to be honest with you, rather than Aeliad. They are Nord right now. They should convert to Falmer, seeing as the, the guys there are Falmer. Yellow Fever has broken out? Where is that? Oh, I don't, I don't really care about that. Alright, let's go ahead and th threaten the vassal. We will do nothing for now. Um, yeah, I remember. We wanted to get the trade post back as well, because I didn't re-enable the trade post mod. Um, right, okay. Uh, let me think for a second. How are we going to do that? So, Vindicel is the owner of this province, right? So one thing I said is we could have them, we could revoke their title, but unfortunately that's impossible unless they change religion. Or unless the trade post is burnt down during a siege, but obviously I don't want to do that. That seems like a terrible idea. Um, so. Huh. Why don't we... No, I have no idea. <laughs> if anyone's got a suggestion of how we're going to do that, I'm thinking like we could we could uh, incite him to revolt, but that's not in the game. Obviously, we could try and convert his religion, but that's very like that would take a very long time and be quite risky um, because also we'd have to convert religion to do that. Yeah, I can't think of a method to get that trade post back. Let's not worry about it for now. Shagorath, my good friend, do we have anything we can offer you? Does he like? He doesn't like pets. Yeah, they must have nerfed that. I'd like to look at the file history and see if that was. Uh... Not long after we figured that out. It's a real shame, but... You know what? We're going to get artifacts sieging Skyrim. And you know what we can do? We can even raid Skyrim in the meantime to make it a lot easier when we actually go to war. Which could be soon. What if we say no? What if we say no to that? Does that get rid of it? No. Well then, what... What, what does that event do? Uh, did it give it... No, it didn't even take away our trade route modifier. Maybe that's just broken then. We won't worry about it too much. Did he die? Did the event even fire? Nope. We're waiting. Aha! Stirbjorn went out with a bang. Perfect. Now we're up against Hiking Kiran of Skyrim. Oh, and a lot of treasures there for Shea Gorath. Um, why don't we... Here's a weird thought. Why don't we raid the provinces we're going to try and take? Then when we actually flip them to... Um, from looters to a regular standing army. We can just sweep through. Like genuinely just walk into each province. And it'll automatically be sieged basically. Because we've already done it before. Because their, their levies and garrisons are destroyed when we do this. Um, as you can see from just here. Completely gone. Zero. So if we move out. Luckily we can do this because we have a land border. We wouldn't be able to do this with anywhere else in the map. Now we've still got monkeys in our prison. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and ransom those guys out and declare war for, oh, what did I say we are going to take? It was A something. Yeah, that's it. Anselvund. Oh, that's only one province. These must be under a different, under this lady. Let's take Moronskva because that's huge. Uh, Moronskva. There we are. That's a pretty big province, right? We'll go back to Anselvund, you know, when we don't have to worry so much about uh, about duchies being a weird shape and about getting Falmer around. Oh, that's a hell of a fortified province. Okay. Don't think I'll be assaulting that one for some reason. And we stole an amulet of Mara. Shogoroth loves amulets of Mara. Come on, more treasures. Resist my foul. Oh, we could have tortured a skeleton there. Maybe we should have. I don't really want to get Impaler. I think we've got enough Rebellion issues as it is without making the, uh... Without our various vassals hating us. We've caught his army. We're attacked into hills, but again, it's like... What is it? 6,000 Battle Mages, so... No chance he's ever going to beat us in a uh, conflict. Unless he genuinely has double our troops with good commanders as well. Alright, we do want to keep an eye on that 
1,300 stack, because they could counter siege. That's that problem solved. And we got a map of Tamriel. We got a lot of good artifacts doing this as well. So this is killing two birds with one stone. Alright, sweet. So. Let's kill a few of his armies. I think I see it's capital. The usual plan, really. This is still, uh, still in Windhelm. We should be able to see just pretty easily because their uh, levies and garrison haven't quite recharged from the last war still. 97%. Take out its trade post as well. This might be enough. Oh god, we're so close. Come on. 700. Sure, that's got to be enough to win this war. Oh, we counter siege. You little shit. Yeah, that'll be enough once we get the siege through. There we go. 100%. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that. Alright. So what we want to do, same business as usual. Let's revoke everything you've got. She was... She had how many duchies? Winter hold. White run. Wow, that was an incredible war. Yep, I will take all of these and make all my vassals hate me because I have way too many... Uh... Way too many duchies. That was a really valuable war for us. Thank you very much. What else have you got? Um, Mistwatch. That's the only problem she actually had herself. Yep, goodbye. Um, and we'll revoke the cities. Let's take this off of you. And this off of you. May the gods guide you. Thank you. How polite. What a nice man. And now, we do the same as what we did last time. Let's open the spell book. And convert to a Falmer. Hello, it's me, Fulmer Elrang. Felrang. Um, right, so. More stewards. It's going to be quite a long process, but, you know, we are resurrecting our our dead cousins, essentially, so. Play steward. Here you are. Have a uh, Gallo Rock. Great province, lovely province. That's, uh. Oh, so this whole thing is. Okay, right, fair enough. I'm not going to bother with marriages or anything like that. That's going to take too long. Way too long. Although I will marry this guy to that extra lady we had. Oh, she's gone. Never mind. Um, what do we hit? Need to hire one more. Excellent. Right. Okay. Let's go to our court. Go to our latest courtiers. You can have uh, Morven Scar. You can have Mistwatch. And we just got to get rid of Amol. We just re an OBS because it just minimized on me. Alright, and we need one more steward. And you get a mole. Are they marrying to other aliens? No, you married some random Imperial dude. I mean, I, could, I can get you guys wives and, and or husbands. Yeah, look. Arrange marriage between you. I said I wasn't going to do this, but they seem to be marrying just anybody. Uh, you're a lady. Oh, you just married. God damn it. So, present debutante. Thank you very much. And here you go. We're like the uh, snow elf matchmaker here. To No, not to that man. To you. Here you are. You're welcome. Alright, who's our best steward amongst this lot then? Uh, he's got 17, but he is weak. Doesn't matter too much though. 22, but you married an imperial, so you've really lost this for yourself, I'm afraid. And we're going to give you... Ambulsund. No, not Ambulsund. That was what we were going to take. We want to give you uh, Morven Scar. There we are. Sweet. Uh, Alright. Nilheim. This is a mess. Shorestone? Who are you under? Oh my god. <laughs> um, so, what do we have that we can give away? More to the point. We've got so many duchies. Holy shit. So, Vault Guard is here. Do we not actually give Vault Guard away? Oh, weird. Okay, my mistake. Um, oh, did she have Vault Guard? Right, and we revoked it. Got it, got it. Um, you can have it. No, wait. No, you can have it. Stop a plot. Yeah, come on. Hurry up with it. Thank you very much. Grant landed title. Uh, Vault Guard. We've got to be close to our Republic limit now, surely. Okay, what else have we got? Um, Winter Hold? Which is under the Yokodan Empire. Great, that's handy. Um, 
when to hold. Lulmuth is that random. We're going to have to destroy it because we are holding too many titles. Uh, Amal Suns, we're going to get next, I think. You know what it's time for. Goodbye, pal. So, the decision is the one we went for that. We can speak to our good friend Shergoroth. Hang on a minute, we've got a revolt. Why did no one tell me? I mean, someone probably did tell me and I ignored it. Kill. We can take away the uh, rally point as well now that we're done with Morrowind. Yeah, that's fine. We'll keep the fleet levy. Oh god, please run. And let's make an offering to Shagorath while we wait. Quick, fly. You can take over. They actually made a lot of headway. If I didn't notice that, they could have... Uh, was that a religious uprising or something? What happens if I'd have lost that, just out of interest? Oh, they take all the occupied titles. Right, we'd have lost a fair amount of land there. So I'm glad we noticed that. Uh, no, you don't. Problem solved. All right. And we've got economy advances in what? So in... Oh, funnily enough. Economy advances. Uh, we could go with construction, lower build time, lower build cost. But I think we're in a position where that's irrelevant forever. Um, what do we go with improved keeps? Town and academy. So we can upgrade all of our buildings, all of our uh, top level holdings to the next level now. Interesting. The white gold tower doesn't actually have the ability to do that. Why not? Uh, am I going crazy here? Well, we can get the small keep there, so we'll do that. We can get small city hall, upgrade to a medium city hall. Yeah, this is why I wanted all of those upgraded, so we can actually upgrade the base foundation level of these provinces. Not sure, you can have that. Why not? Yeah, it looks like these unique buildings, you actually can't upgrade them beyond their first level, from what I can see, just at a glance. Sure, how about some wide canals? Why not? You know what? I feel like this has gone well. We've resurrected a hell of a lot of Felmer. Um, let's kill this guy off. We've got anyone that wants to join. No, unfortunately not. We can move our Spy Master now, though. Now that we're not trying to kill off the Cheese Guild. It's, uh, well, we went for the Plots Fire. Took some stuff at Shea Gorath. What have we got for you? I think we got a lot of, uh, a lot of books, things like that, right? Keep some information myself. Uh, Chances Folly, sure. That sounds like the type of book you'd like. 200 Arda. Offer an artifact. What else we got? Uh, oh, really? Oh, Map of Tamriel? Something. It's not a huge amount. We actually didn't get as much as I thought. Seems like a lot of the things we picked up we couldn't actually give to him. We got a lot of amulets, like Amulet of Mara and stuff. I, I guess it would make sense he wouldn't be able to give those away to... Daedra, right? I can't imagine they'd be interested in that type of thing. Alright, well we are halfway there to getting the Wabajack. And we got an adventurer threat. Who are you? Last Cragstrider. Um, to do that, we'd have to cancel our plot here. So why don't we just have this guy assassinated? Uh, she'll hire the Dark Brotherhood. Sweet mother. Sweet mother. You fucked up. At least he's wounded. Uh, assassinate again. Hired muscle. I think we've had way more luck with those guys. Come on, please. Sweet mother, sweet mother. God damn it. I, I mean, the adventurer isn't much of a threat, despite the fact that it says adventurer threat. I don't think he's going to do anything to us. If you remember the last adventurer we had in Valenwood, they didn't do anything. The war ended before they got here. So, I'm not too concerned about that. I don't think it's anything to worry about, particularly. Alright, how are our snow elves doing? I kind of want to give, you know, these titles that my vassals have picked up to snow elves, but... I mean, it would piss off my loyal, alien uh, brethren. What else can we change laws-wise? We could centralize and give ourselves more domain. Lower our vassal limit by 10. Means we'd have to start giving out duchies. Uh, sorry, kingdoms and viceroyalties and things like that. Not really what we want. Um, well, sure, we'll go for that. I mean, it's not relevant. Oh, we can change our council law. Shit, I should have abolished council power. Damn it. I thought we'd already done that a long time ago, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, I'll make a mental note of that for next time to uh, work on the council power. I will forget. You can guarantee it. Oh, we can steal an artifact. Why don't we end the episode with that? Dragon Bone. Let's see if we can find that dude. Uh, Diplorange. Yes, that had. Here he is. The same guy. 
The superior dragon bone sword. I imagine that's worth a small fortune. Quality six. I didn't even think you could get quality six. He's got so much cool stuff. We might just go and raid him as well. Where is he? Uh, he has Dania. He's quite far away. Let's get some boats. Let's go raid him while we'll have people raiding him as we try and do the, the stealing. Minimum keep in Fort Legion means I can start building some pretty hefty upgrades there now. Um, have we got anything for boats? Because I remember we do not have enough boats even still. Uh, scout camps. We've got a lot of infantry. Oh, retinue size? That's pretty that's pretty awesome. I need to remember that. Well, there's a lot of retinue size in the White Gold Tower. I suppose it would make sense that that is sort of your uh, central site for that type of thing. Boats, 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 boats. Perfect. And boats here. Military tech. Archers. Did I say I'd do no raiding this episode? Whoops. I lied. Uh, look, you can understand why. This is, for the, this is for the glory of the treasury. Sure, that seems pretty good. It's Fort Legion waterfront. Surely we can build boats in the waterfront. Tax income, tax income. Nope. Okay, what do we need for that galleys plus 12 then that I saw? Um, shipbuilding level 3. Do we really not have... Well, I guess that explains a lot. Okay. Sure. That's annoying. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll just build anything here then. How about a wooden pier? Sure. They can enjoy that. Uh, galleys plus 12. Perfect. And anything here at all. The damn place is an island. We should be able to build more boats than this. Archmage plus 10. Oh my god. Sure. Let's go for levy reinforcement rate. The classic. Okay, we'll move our steward over here as well to collect some taxes. That's not what I meant at all. To oversee construction with our new steward, our better steward, which is exactly what I meant to do. Alright. Um, let's raise some troops in the capital. How many tr uh, boats have we got now? 114. Although the buildings have just finished. It's 148 for our 27,000 men. Ah. Uh, we are still going to have to split it in half. No, thank you. We are not interested in making the Pure Isle Felma. Even with the... Okay, that's enough. So if we... Uh, 136. Sorry? 130. Hmm. Still getting that, eh? Um, let's also balance this unit. And put our rang on that. We'll drop this army. Not interested in you. Drop this army. Oh, did that disband our retinues? I'm so annoyed. Ah... <sighs> There needs to be a button. Never disband retinues ever under any circumstances. Why would I want to do that? That's that's the button that we need. Well, never mind. Okay, we're off. We're going to steal this Dragonbone sword. And while Elrang is busy looting armies, Elrang is going to sneak in and steal it manually. Okay, where is it? Siberia Dragonbone sword. I want this. And my son, we're going to take to it Prince Felosimir, who is strong. We're going to succeed. I can feel it. I've got a Falma disguise on. They'll never know it's me. Alright. 87% chance of success. Convince some servants to let me in. Perfect. Oh, for fuck. Elrang! Fight my way out. At least we fought our way out and just got depressed this time. Oh, we didn't even get depressed. It's 20% chance. Right. We're burning it down. <sighs> we can convert to local culture alien, but that doesn't change our race to my knowledge. It just changes our culture. So we become a Falma with, you know, like alien culture. Not what we want. Alright. So. Dania. Hello. It's me. I'm back. Mithril armor. You know what? It's better than nothing. Does he have anything else? He's a duke. Surely he's got to have more than just one province. Uh, he does. This one here. Alright. See what we can get. Nothing. Perfect. This guy, I hate him. I hate this man. And I want to see him dead forever. So he is going on our shit list. You can stay here for now. Um, so who are these other people we've favorited? Who are you? Oh, right. You were the guy that I wanted to give land to. Who are you? Disband. Oh, we were going to marry your wife. But you, you became impossible to do that. And you were the wife that we were going to marry. The man we were going to murder. All right. We're good. Let's get those boats back. Oh, Lars. Not now. Lars, for God's sake, our son, he's so old and gonna die. 136. Um, 
God damn it. It's got so many traits. Maybe we go for Hermaeus Mora. Give him the Ogre Infinium in the hopes that he becomes immortal. I'm worried that we are running out of time quite quickly. Shared Gorath. Shared Gorath, no. I didn't agree to this. Have some Mithril armor. Alright, well, we're over halfway there at this stage, so we've, we've, we've made a good headway. It's just a shame we still haven't quite got there yet. And if you guys are completely bored of me giving gifts to Diedrich Princes, let me know. And what I would do is in between episodes, I'll just buy a load of horses and just chuck them at him one by one. I don't want to do that on camera, because that would probably bore me to sleep, let alone you guys. Okay, we did keep some of our retinues. Let's just go ahead and uh, stack those out again. <clears throat> yeah, so all those battle mages I had. Yeah, I'd like you to go ahead and just uh, rehire all of them. Alright, sweet. Well, we've made some great progress this episode. You know what? Let's deal with Lars. Fucking Lars. Oh, we actually... Oh, okay. 10,000 men. Sure. Lars. You have my attention. Is that his entire army? He's got 15,000 men. Wow. Good host war. For fuck's sake. God, Meridia Uprising. Alright, that's fine. Let's call in the vassals. Bring in Morrowind. I'll deal with Lars. They can deal with the Argonians. Let's uh, auto-balance this unit. We could put them all on in the center, but... Alright, that's 34% war score. Let's counter-siege this, and we'll just sit here and wait for Lars to come back. Thank you very much. 50% war score, okay. Assumably, he sent his... Uh boats back to go and get the rest of his troops wherever the hell they are. Lars' host is over here. Alright. So imagine he'll be back with greater numbers. Oh, he's already there? There he is. Oh, we're going to blow up the High King of Skyrim. Perfect timing, so we can pick that up straight away next episode. And he's back. Alright, Lars. Goodbye. Good war. Thank you for that. That was exactly worth adding another five minutes onto the end of the video. Let's go deal with these Argonians. Then we'll be done. Our vassals are probably going to beat us there, to be honest with you. Look out below. Oh, his plot is revealed. Well, let's just get him killed at this stage. Did not dis... <laughs> Great. It's failed multiple plots. I just don't know how with such high intrigue. Is our spy master terrible? Have I completely missed that? Let's take a look. All right, let's put our levies down. Get you back to the capital. What's our spy master like? 33? Deceitful, paranoid. These seem like good traits for a spy master to have. Legendary agent. Plot power increased by 25%. Huh. You sort of assume it should be really good, but. I mean, the plots firing themselves are more or less random anyway, so. We'll start next episode with that. Assassinate the High King of Skyrim. Until then, see you next episode. Thank you for watching. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do whatever. Could you even favorite YouTube videos anymore? Huh, I don't even know. Saltstone is independent? Huh, I have to keep an eye on that.